Hello everyone, you woke up this morning and you found out you had a snow day, you've had your hot chocolate, you built your snowman, now it's time for this edition of your snow day lesson. Let's now take a look at the order of operations. Two ways to help us remember this, PEMDAS or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What do those letters stand for? Let's take a look. The P stands for parentheses. We see those in reading. Those help us group things together. That's what we're going to do first. Next, exponents. We're going to learn that in fifth grade. That is another way to show repeated multiplication. The M stands for multiplication which could come first, but multiplication and division are on the same level. It goes by whatever shows up first, left to right. So division could actually be before multiplication. Addition and subtraction come up next, very much like multiplication and division, whichever comes first, left to right. They are on the same level. So in theory, subtraction could be before addition. Those are our order of operations, two ways to remember, PEMDAS or a little saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Welcome back everyone. My name is Mr. Dre. I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Fountain Hill Elementary School in the Bethel Mary School District. And let's get back to our snow day lesson. Um, things that you want to have ready for your lesson today are pencil and paper, obviously. And you might want to also have out a multiplication slash division chart. Up to 12 times 12 would be perfect. So let's get into our problem here that we have set up for you today. Um, our friend Joe, who is a third grader, um, wants to figure out how many hours of sleep he gets per week, okay? Um, and as we see on this little chart, we see that he takes a two hour nap, okay? Once a week, so a two hour nap. And then every night he gets nine hours of sleep. So nine hours per sleep every night. We want to figure out what's the total hours of sleep he gets per week, okay? So we're going to take a look at two problems. Now I'm telling you right now, boys and girls, one of these problems is going to be the correct way to do this, keeping order of operations in mind, and one is going to be incorrect. And we're hoping that after you've taken a look at those order of operations, you'll be able to see which one is correct and which one is incorrect. So let's take a look at these two problems. From our chart before, you see here that Joe's two hour nap is in the problem and we're adding that to the nine hours of sleep he gets every night. That's why we have the seven here. So nine hours of sleep times the seven days in a week. Okay, so we have two plus seven times, I'm sorry, two plus nine times seven. So let's take a look. Now remember, one of these ways is correct, one's incorrect. So on this problem, we're going to start by adding 2 plus 9. And when we do 2 plus 9, we get 11. Now one strategy I always like to work on with our fifth graders here at Fountain Hill is whatever we just accomplished, right, I always like to very, very lightly cross off. So in this problem, we just did 2 plus 9 and we already got 11, and I also like to use these little arrows here, I'm going to very lightly cross that off. And that's going to help us keep track of what we've already used up in the problem. Okay? Now, obviously, we didn't use times 7 yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down times 7. So now we have 11 times 7, and we're going to use our arrow strategy there. And 11 times 7, if you, if you need your chart, you will see that it is 77. And since we were talking about hours, that's going to be our label, hours of sleep. So in this way, we got an answer of 77 hours, okay? We're going to do the same problem, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. Again, keeping the order of operations in mind, and your job is to see on this snow day which is right, which is wrong. All right. So in this problem, instead of adding 2 plus 9 first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this symbol first, and I'm gonna, going to do 9 times 7. Okay. Using that strategy we talked about before with the arrows, and 9 times 7, if you need your chart, 
you see, is 63. Okay, 9 times 7 is 63. Remember that strategy of very lightly, very lightly crossing off. We don't want to go hard crossing it off. We don't want to use a Sharpie because if we ever make a mistake, we won't know what was up there. So very, very lightly cross it off. Then we want to bring down, just like we did before, the two symbols, or however many there are in your problem, that we did not use yet. We did not do two plus. So we're dropping those down. So now we're left with two plus 63. And when we add those, we get 65. And once again, our label is ours. So you can see in those two problems, the first way we did it, we got 77 hours of sleep for Joe per week. The second way, we got 65 hours of sleep per week for Joe. We know in math, usually, there can only be one right answer. So let's look at those order of operations to see if we can track down and see which of these problems is correct, which of these problems is incorrect. All right, you have seen our problem done two different ways. Now we're gonna take a look at the correct way to do it. We have our list of our order of operations here, PEMDAS, and as we go through this problem, we're going to eliminate each step. So in our problem, two plus nine times seven, there are no parentheses or exponents, so we can eliminate those. There happens to be multiplication, so we're going to do that. Nine times seven equals 63. We cross off what we did and drop down what we did not do yet, two plus. There is addition, so we're going to do that. And as you can see, it was eliminated from our list of steps. Two plus 63 equals 65. We add our label, 65 hours of sleep was the correct answer. As you can see, our correct answer for this problem was 65 hours of sleep per week. Why was that? Well, order of operation tells us in math that we do multiplication before addition. All right, it's your turn. I challenge you. How many hours of sleep do you get per week? Don't forget your order of operations. Also, don't forget you might have an extra hour or two built in if you slept a little longer today because of your snow day. I'm Mr. Dre, fifth grade teacher from Fountain Hill. Thanks for watching this edition of your snow day lesson.